we have some pretty good current here. So today we're up on Chickamauga Lake. First time I've been here since April. Um, just want to see what's going on up here. Because sometimes in the winter time, the lake can get pretty good. And right now we're fishing a bluff. Pretty deep, we're in like 43 feet of water. We're using bluegill for bait. It's an overcast day, it's cold. I'm by myself, which that's been a long time since I've been by myself. I've had so many trips, it's been hard to have some time for myself. And so we're just gonna be scouting out. I'm only gonna be out for a few hours. This is our first spot. Uh, there's a bluff and it's deep. I uh, got some current in here. Uh, I may end up moving out more towards uh, this mouth here. So, because it's like 70 something feet out in there and I may end up moving here in a little bit, but we'll see. I've done well here in the past and, but yeah, I'm just gonna be using four rods, nothing major. I uh, got cut bluegill, two head pieces. Oh, there we go. He's on here or not? Yeah, he's on there. That's a way to start the day right there. It's a small one, but it's a fish. So yeah, just here fishing this bluff. This is a very small fish. He'll be lucky if he goes 10 pounds. Oh, it's a flathead. Oh, wow. Look at that. I mean, I still got my bait and everything. Wow, that is a, that is a small flathead. Woo. Look at that one, guys. <laughs> oh, goodness. Still got my bait and everything. <sighs> it counts, though. Look at the colors on him. Very dark. Black, brown. This is about the size of the one I have in my aquarium. Let's put him back. We've only been here maybe two minutes. And that came on the float rig. Just using small pieces, nothing big. I don't have much bait. Oh, this one's getting hit. We're definitely getting some action, that's for sure. Oh, 
right, guys, we've been here 15, 20 minutes. I'm not going to wait much longer. I got a fish? I think I do. What? I didn't even know I had a fish on. I was adjusting my drag as I was starting to reel up and I don't think he's big, but I didn't even see the rod go down or anything. Makes me wonder if he hit it as I was reeling it in. I mean, he's a small one. Watch it be another flathead. And it is. Come here, buddy. Ugh. This one's a little bigger. This one came on the demon dragon on the bluegill head. Look at that. Bluegill head, demon dragon. A deadly combination for the flatheads, I feel like. If you've never tried a bluegill head with a demon dragon, that's a deadly combination. He's a little bigger than the first one. Alright guys, so I want to take this time to show you more in depth the uh, rigs I was using to catch those flatheads. Uh, the first one came on the float rig. I'll just show you that. Um, so here it is. And these floats are super cheap. I think they're like $10 on Amazon. You can get like 50 of them pretty cheap. And it's just a peg float. It keeps your bait right off the bottom. Uh, I picked up this idea from my friend Daryl with Trophy Seekers Outdoors. And what it is, it's just a simple peg float that looks like this. It has a cap on the top and there's a hole that runs right through the middle of this like cigar float. And you just put it right on your, your leader and then you use the cap to kind of cinch it down because your line will be in there and you'll just kind of cinch it until it's tight and then it won't move up and down as much it'll be pretty secure but i've had a lot of big fish this year come off this float rig here uh, some people like to use a rattle on top of the cap which you know gives more of a sound and vibration uh in the water but i don't think it's necessary i mean I'm sure it'll help more, but I just don't use it. Um, but that's a really good float uh, to use when drift fishing, anchor fishing, fishing tight to structure and whatnot. And then the other uh, rig was the Demon Dragon, which you guys have seen me use that plenty. Here's a Demon Dragon. Now this one has the rattle. What you'll do here 
is you'll have, I don't know, like a seven, eight inch uh, line here. This is the same pound test as my main line, it's 40. And then you got your Demon Dragon. And then I have my 80 pound leader to the hook. Now this is probably like six inches or so. You can go shorter or you can go longer. But I feel like the longer leader is gonna do best for when you're dragging weights uh, in a very consistent depth. But this rattle does, I feel like, make a difference, especially for those flatheads. We caught two flatheads um, off that bluff, one on the float rig and then the other on the Demon Dragon. So I feel like there's something to it to get those flatheads to bite. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you this uh, in case you were interested. Usually when I anchor fish, I use five or six rods and I usually have one rod with the Demon Dragon and the other rod with the float rig. So two rods will be suspended while the other three or four will be right on the bottom. And guys, um, I appreciate you watching my videos. If you have not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I try to uh, upload videos every week for y'all and uh, make sure you got those notifications turned on. And as always, give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later.